I said at the end of my last video that I was going to do another one based on a headline that I saw in the middle of this Daily Telegraph article that I was um, doing a video about. Now I clicked on the link and there wasn't really much of an article at all. It was supposed to be what makes a perfect wife. Anyway, I did a general search and uh, quickly enough I found some more stuff on the perfect wife and by pure coincidence I found an article and this is written by Stephen Adams back in 2010. By pure coincidence, it's also in the Daily Telegraph. And uh, no doubt the findings of these so-called so scientists uh, were, were published all over the place anyway. But anyway, this is a headline of the, of the article. Scientists find mathematical formula for the perfect wife. Well, if you're MGTOW or you're an intelligent man, and uh, uh, this article mentions intelligence, then the perfect wife, of course, is no wife at all. And I think that maybe these scientists, that's if what they indeed are, uh, I think they should maybe look for a, a perfect mathematical formula for the ideal divorce system. And then maybe more people will get married in the first place. There'll be less divorce. Us women can just rip a man off for everything. Anyway, starts off, a bride should be five years younger than her groom. So remember that, guys, if you're dumb enough to want to get married. Not four years, not six years, five years exactly. Uh, she should also come from the same cultural background. I'm not quite sure what that means, but maybe it means that if you're a black guy, you should stay away from white women and vice versa, and Jews have married Jews, and Muslims, Muslims, and Christians, Christians, and atheists, atheists, and pedophiles, pedophiles. I, I don't, I'm not sure what they mean by that. And the wife should be the more intelligent of the pair if couples are to have a successful marriage. What a load of shit. She's supposed to be more intelligent. So... She's supposed to be going around looking for an older man who's more stupid than her, apparently, in order that she can have a successful marriage. And I'm supposed to take this seriously. Okay, well, let's, let's go through the article. Sticking to the formula would increase a couple's chances of a long and happy marriage by a fifth. The team from the Geneva School of Business found. I, I, I thought we were dealing with scientists here. The Geneva School of Business. How many scientists do they have there? And what the fuck are they talking about? Anyway, um, I think it's maybe the author here who's suggesting one couple that the formula appears to fit is the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. I'm not, not going to go through what he says on that, apart from they share the same sort of background, even if the foreign-born Duke, a member of the Greek and Danish royal families by birth, had to become a naturalised British subject before their marriage. So fucking what, is what I'd say to that. And is this uh, years ago, of course, there was this guy who broke into Buckingham Palace and he got all the way to the Queen's bedroom and sat in her bed and spoke to her for 10 minutes before security got there and it was in the press, all over the press, why was she sleeping alone if they had a successful marriage? Why were they, was she in, in her own bedroom and he was in a, a different one? Maybe they're just keeping the marriage together for the sake of the monarchy. Anyway, I'm drifting off on a different point there. Besides the man being five years older than his bride and that his bride should share the same heritage, they concluded that a wife should be at least 27% more intelligent than her husband. 27%. They also decided she should hold a degree while he should not. What the fuck are they saying? That intelligent women should look for stupid men. Women should leave university with a degree in, I don't know, medicine. And they should just look for a fucking moron. So let's just have a look at average IQs. The average IQ is 90 to 109. In other words, it's 100, as I suspected. So let's take the average woman uh, with an IQ of 100. So she's looking for a man with an IQ of uh, at least 27% lower than her. So that would go down to between 70 and 73. And it's the, uh, the average IQ of 70 to 79 is considered to be well below average. Now, the the Weschler or Weschler Intelligence Quotient scale that has these general classifications, I'm sure is, is desperately trying to avoid that rather than saying 70 to 79 is well below average, uh, it's, you're talking about a cretin, you're talking about a, the, the village idiot, you're talking about a fucking moron. So these, these scientists who aren't, don't seem to be scientists at all, seem to be suggesting that the average woman should look for a complete fucking idiot and marry him. And what kind of spawn are they going to have? They've got a, an average mother 
and they've got a complete fucking moron for a father. Fuck. Relationships ex experts thought there might be something in the research. Oh, well, they fucking would. Most of them are women. Kate Feeks, who interviewed 120 people for a book on understanding relationship couples or something or other. Aren't most women the more intelligent in a relationship anyway? That's my first reaction, she said. Well, my first reaction to you, Kate, is that you're a female chauvinist pig. You're a fucking sexist. However, she warned, men should not resign themselves to stupefying passivity. I thought that's what these so-called academics wanted. But uh, I've got news for you, Kate. Men who are married are already stupefyingly passive. They're pussified fucking wimps. Intelligent men understand that for a relationship to be happy, their partner has to be happy, she said. This, this woman's a fucking genius. I suddenly realised I've just got this image in my head of Rodin's The Thinker. I'm thinking Socrates and Voltaire and Pythagoras, all these, these genius men. This woman's a, a genius. Linda Blair, a clinical psychologist, I thought she played the, exorcist, the, the girl in The Exorcist, and author of Straight Talking, thought there could be an evolutionary reason for women to be the more intelligent partner in successful long-term relationships. There's no evidence whatsoever that they are. Going back to prehistory, women have needed to invest more in relationships than men because men are more biologically adapted to spread their seed around. Well, I have my own anthropological theory on this. Men are going to cheat in accordance to the, ava to the availability of their gene pool around them. And the more slutty and promiscuous women become, the more it's in men's interest to bag as many women as possible. Because it's all going to balance out for them. Because if the other women around them are, sl are sluts, then it's, there's a good chance that her, their wives, wife is a slut. And so by impregnating a woman other than their wife, they're, they're equaling out the, the chances of, of their own wife ending up having a child that isn't biologically theirs. That's my theory, and I'm pretty sure it's the sound one at that. Anyway, Christine Northam, a marriage counsellor for Relate, uh, said dismissively of the findings, there are lies, lies, and statistics. Well, she sounds like a very nice woman, and uh, I go as far as to saying that uh, this report is just fucking bullshit. That's what I would say. She says, and this is right at the end of the article, it's about teamwork. It's not about one being dominant over the other. Okay, I'll, I'll agree with the teamwork thing. She's absolutely right. Um, but there has to be a dominant partner. There has, someone has to be the boss uh, in an emergency or a crisis or when you're, trying, when you're trying to come to an important decision, you're at loggerheads, someone has to put their foot down. Now, there's that very old saying that men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Uh, I prefer to say that men are polar opposites. Um, and in the case of many women these days, bipolar opposites. But anyway, um, taking that geographical an uh, analogy uh, into, into consideration, let's say that a couple... Uh, are stuck for where they go for their, their annual vacation, their annual holiday. And he wants to go to the North Pole to watch, to see if he can fly, uh, look at some polar bears. She wants to go to the Antarctic to look at cute little penguins. They can't make their mind up. Now, an ideal compromise would be for them to go to uh, Quito, Ecuador. That's uh, Quito's the capital of Ecuador. And I think it's the closest capital in the world, capital city in the world to the equator. But that's by the by. Anyway. Uh, what would happen in a relationship is that uh, the, they argue and argue and argue, mm -hmm. and in the end, of course, and this is, women aren't more intelligent in relationships, they're just more manipulative. And in the end, because uh, she couldn't see a little penguin, she'd burst into tears, and he'd say, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, okay, 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 we'll go to, we'll, we'll go to Antarctica, we'll look at the penguins, we'll look at the penguins. No, 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 you, 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 you do what, you know what's best, you know what's best. And the guy turns around and goes, he gets all fucking mattresses, no. I've just, I've changed my mind and it's my mind, okay? We're going to go to Antarctica to see penguins, whether you like it or not. Do you understand? And she will meekly reply, oh yes, well, well, we'll do whatever you say. And it's not until he's down there freezing his bollocks off and he realises what smelly breath these fish eating penguins has. It, uh, it's not till he gets down there that he realises he's been taken. That's, uh, that's women for you. They're, they're, they're not more intelligent, they're just more fucking manipulative. And if intelligence was based on manipulation, then yeah, women would be more intelligent. Thank God they're not. Because if they were, they'd have done even more damage to society than they already have. 
Thank you.